And then on the good to be true track. So you have Gordy Johnson and he's not just playing guitar. He's playing like guitar, bass, backups, key. Like he's playing everything. It's, it's wild. This guy's so talented. Oh, he's so talented. And what's funny about that tune to me is, uh, you know, people always talk about Big Sugar being a loud band. You know, everyone jokes about it, blah, blah, blah. I think Gordy just ha has made that part of the identity. And it's like, some people think, oh, this is a bad thing. Everyone calls him loud. He just like owns it. And I think he's like totally cool with it. Um, I haven't asked him that actually. I should ask him about that. But what's funny is he put his guitar stuff on there and sent me a mix. I was like, do you think the do you think the guitar is a bit loud? He goes, I'll tell you when the guitar is too loud. <laughs> and that was the end of that conversation. So there's a, there's a lyric in that in that song that says, I'll be digging a hole so you can pull me through. Is that an Easter egg for Big Sugar fans? <laughs> I love it. You know what, man? I don't think either of us realized that when we wrote that. And I do remember writing that particular line with him. And I can't remember who came up with it, whether it was me or him. But in any case, it hit me after. And um, and I was like, oh, yeah, digging a hole. There that's their it is. signature You're song, kidding baby. Me. Yeah, exactly. So that is, that's a cool Easter egg, like you say. That's awesome. And Accidental. Accidental. And uh, I have uh, kind words from the legend himself. So Gordy Johnson oh of Big Sugar, he says... You can't sing it convincingly if you ain't lived it. And my friend JW lived it while we were making it. So that's from Gordy Johnson. So that's about wow. authenticity uh, from a guy that is known for being as authentic as they come. Yeah, well, I, I, I know for sure what he's referencing there. I mean, if not the general, the sessions, but uh, that tune we talked about earlier, When You Left, the one about my mom's passing, I sang it a few times and then I sat down and I was just like resting for a second and I lost it. I was just like tears. I, I couldn't talk to him. I was like, uh, he's like, it's okay, man. Take your time. And then, and then as I'm still crying, he's like, all right, sing it again. So I got up and had to just sing it again. I was like, yeah, this is what we're doing. And I've never had that kind of reaction. It was just, it was because the music, and the lyrics just all worked together in such a beautiful way. So that yeah, was nice.